I got to tell you guys, left wingers never miss an opportunity to push their propaganda, even when a natural disaster is actually happening right now in Florida. Now, Hurricane Ian, if it hasn't made landfall yet, it's going to be making a landfall uh, pretty soon. Man, it is going to be bad, bad, bad. It looks like his may actually land is like a cat four or a cat five. That is very, very rare, folks. Very, very rare. But um, yesterday we saw Amy Klobuchar saying that, um, yeah, you vote Democrat. Um, we can actually solve um, hurricanes. No, you can't. It is a natural event. But these these left wingers, man, they have been pushing this climate change stuff for way too long without any facts to actually back it up. Well, CNN's Don Lamont, uh, he got shut down today trying to uh, weaponize and push a uh, left wing propaganda when it came to Hurricane Ian. Now, guys, like I said, a hurricane is natural. It happens every year. I've been through countless hurricanes, folks. I really have. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's do it. Let's watch this clip here, guys. You can see here Don Lemon is just regularly getting shut down. On his own show. And now I'm here for it. Now he actually had on. a am I'm, I'm assuming he's a meteorologist here. Uh, with um, the NOAP. Something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway. Well. Don Lemon is going to get shut down not once but twice. Trying to push this climate change agenda. And luckily you know it seems like this guy here. Is just focusing on the science because. To left wing nut jobs like Don Lamont, that whole climate change thing is not based in facts. They can't back it up. But let's go ahead and roll this clip. Can you tell us what this is and what effect climate change has on this phenomenon? Well, we can come back and talk about climate change uh, at a later time. I want to focus on the here and now. We think the rapid intensification is probably almost done. There could be a little bit more intensification as it's still over the warm waters of the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico. But I don't think we're going to get any more rapid intensification. If you look here, you can actually see, pretty interesting for your viewers, you can actually see a second eye wall forming around the inner eye wall and that's basically the second eye wall has overtaken the original eye wall and that should arrest development. Uh, so listen, I just, I'm just trying to get that you said you want to talk about climate change, but what, what effect does climate change have on this phenomenon that, that is happening now? Because it seems these storms are intensifying. That's the question. Here. I don't think you can link climate change to any one event. Okay. On the whole, on the cumulative, uh, climate change uh, may be making storms worse, uh, but uh, to link it to any one event, um, I, I would caution against that. Okay. Well, they, uh, listen, I grew up there, and these storms are intensifying. Something is causing them to in intensify. So this storm is just, it's a massive one. Its effects are also being... Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys, right there. Um, Don Lamont is from New Orleans, okay? So... He grew up around hurricanes. He has to know that this is just a natural event. Why do um, storms get bigger and bigger? Hey, it just happens. And also, you know, warmer waters also um, um, has an effect on the strength of a hurricane. Um, I believe that's one of the reasons why now that this hurricane didn't actually um, really get into the Gulf of Mexico and come towards Texas because a cold front just actually came through here. So the waters aren't very warm. That actually did have an effect on um, the path of this particular storm here. That is according to the meteorologists. OK, I will listen to the meteorologists and not Don Lamont when it comes to these storms. Now, meteor meteorologists know they're not perfect, but um, I don't believe that they're necessar necessarily going to be pushing uh, climate change propaganda. I've actually have not heard um, any meteorologists um, actually say anything like this. But Don Lamont, not one time, not once, but actually twice, he actually tried to get an answer to climate change. And this guy right here just wasn't having it. Just not having it. I mean, Don Lamont and you know, all of you left wingers out there that keep pushing this. How do you explain the Ice Age? Man was not drilling for oil and gas. You know that the left has um, declared war on oil and gas and drilling and all that. How do you explain the last ice age ending uh, 10,000 years ago? Man was not drilling for oil back then. 
It just happens. It's natural. The planet is going to go through different cycles. And guess what? There is nothing you can actually do to stop it. There is nothing you can do. I mean, these leftists out there are completely insane, guys. They they keep pushing this propaganda to make people fear. We actually had a um, sporting event at the uh, Labor, Labor Cup. Uh, Roger Federer's uh, last event uh, playing tennis and some climate change activists got on the court and ended up setting himself on fire. These people are really, really crazy. These people, you know, out there saying, hey, we got uh, 12 years left. How do you know that? It's not based in science. It's not. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Don Lamont shut down by an actual scientist here when it comes to um, hurricanes, weather, that kind of thing. He wasn't going to be able to push his propaganda on this guy right here. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.